Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Before anything, I wanted to thank everyone for all the love and support that I got on my last video. But yeah, let's just jump right into it. My name is Irene and I've been a referee for three years now. Something to know is that I'm a table referee. I'm not one of the ones that are running in court. But I just wanted you to know that to keep in mind uh, during these questions that my answers might be different. So I asked you guys to ask me questions on Instagram about what it is being a referee. And one question that I got a lot is about being insulted or being yelled at and all of that. I'm a table referee, so I don't get yelled at as much as the people who are running in the court do. I usually do a lot of the work behind the scenes, and for people who don't know the actual rules of basketball, they won't really notice that much my mistakes. So it's usually the crowd shouting at the ref or the actual players since they have the referee right beside them, but it's always about something that they see, not necessarily what they know about the rules of basketball. So I don't necessarily get insulted that often. I would if I commit some mistakes and then uh, people yell or if they think I've committed some mistakes, which I have gotten yelled at for that many times. Usually it's the coaches that yell at me the most because they think they know the basketball rules, but they forget to study the rules a lot of the times. But yeah, overall, I do get insulted. I stop the game and it's all taken care of. We've given technical fouls. We've had to talk to people, but... I mean, it's all part of the game of basketball. So the next question I got is how long I've been a ref for. And I've been a ref for three years, as I explained before. Obviously, the more years you put into it, the more you go climbing up the ladder. It really depends on the skills you have. The third question that I got was, have I ever been hit? And no, I've never been hit, thankfully. <laughs> Why should I be scared? I have had to call the cops and during a game actually before, but it wasn't because they hit me. Uh, it was in the crowd. They started fighting each other and the ref stopped the game and ordered the whole crowd to leave. They didn't want to leave and so we had to call the cops, but no. Thankfully, I haven't been a witness of someone punching another person. I do know of a player that punched a ref though. Another question that I got was what is the weirdest thing that you've heard between the players? I definitely have heard things I didn't want to hear Especially from the people who are in the bench But I, I really can't think of a specific example right now One of the most shocking things I've heard though is a coach yelling to little kids Four-year-olds actually playing basketball And the coach was yelling swear words at them, was calling them Oof, I don't even want to remember that scene, it was Horrible. The next question I got is have I ever been biased to make a certain decision during the game? For my position specifically, it's a bit harder to be biased. I mean, I can always just add an extra point for one team or another. But it's very noticeable. One, it would be stupid. Two, I don't see any point in doing that at all. And two, you can get caught so easily. Don't even try. However, I started refereeing in a small village, so there were very few teams and I actually had to many times be a table ref for my own university, but as well, I have n no, I've never been biased, I've never done anything of that sort. Question number six is do I get paid well? So one thing to know is that being a table ref, I get paid less than the reps who are running down in the court. I get paid less for many different reasons. One, I'm not running down in the court. Two, I don't have that much of a responsibility on me. Actually, if I make a mistake, not only do I get penalized, but also the main ref because it's his job to revise everything that we do. Now, do I get paid enough to make a living out of it? No, it takes a lot of years to get to a really good category. People who are refereeing for the ACB now, which is the highest professional league in Spain, they can make a living out of just refereeing, but it's not a very comfortable living. Usually refereeing is only gives you enough to make money as a hobby. Right now, I am getting paid around, I'd say 25 euros per game. But if you think about it, that's quite low considering that each game lasts around one hour and a half. And then the time it gets you to get to the place and back, and you also have to come with 30 minutes in between. Let's say in the end per game, you spend at least two hours. So that sums up to around 12.5 euros per game. But if you take into account that one, you're not gonna have have all the games ever two you don't have a fixed schedule like in other jobs and three it really fluctuates each time what games you get assigned and everything you don't end up making a lot of money off of it but again it really depends on your category how many games you're doing per week i don't do that many so no i don't get paid that much but i have it as a hobby i mean i started earning around four euros per game four euros Per game. Actually, like almost cost me more to get to the place than what I got from refereeing. You start from the bottom and you work your way up. And even when you're at the top, being a table ref, 
it's not that great oh and before anything it also really depends on the place where you are refereeing i used to ref in another city where i got paid one third of what i'm getting paid here in madrid question number seven is if any players have flirted with me before and i don't think any players have flirted with me actually i have had players flirt with me before i think but it's mostly because i know them from something else either because they're a rep because they're a coach or just because i knew them question number eight is which decision is the funniest to make honestly i don't think they're funny like usually it's, it's just very stressful when you have to take a really big decision because any decision you take people can react really well to it or really badly to it so in those moments it's not really funny it's you against all the pressure to make that right decision question number nine which i kind of combined many together is do i follow basketball do i play basketball and what do i think about kobe one do i play basketball yes i've been playing since i was 13 i'm not sure it's never been professional basketball it's always been either with my school or with a club right now i'm the captain of my basketball team but we're not really training that much because of the whole situation and everything so yes i do play basketball two do i follow basketball no i have no clue what's going on with basketball in the u.s in spain I do have some clue, but because I'm a ref, not because I necessarily go out and search for the matches. However, if you tell me that there's a really good game going on and I have free time, which usually doesn't happen, then I go and watch it. And the last question is, what do I think about Kobe? And as I told you before, I don't really follow American basketball, so I didn't know much about him. Of course, I knew who Kobe was, and it's so sad to see someone so important, especially in this sport, pass away like that. It's such a tragic accident, and I wouldn't wish it upon anyone, so it's really sad to see it legend go question number 10 which is not really a question but it's pretty cool it show us some signals some signals that might not be as normal because the typical ones you see in tv are timeout technical foul or just a foul the ones you don't usually see in tv are the ones that i do for example if i want to ask for a change you cross your arms right in front of you something that is very confusing in the beginning as well are the numbers if you want to do 17 for example you'd have to do a one backwards and then seven forward so that is seven but if you want to do 13 for example a fist is 10 and then you do three there's a lot of signals those are just some and then i got some questions to test my refereeing abilities <laughs> and the first one is are you allowed to rebound your own ball that you threw towards a basket and turned out to be an air ball and the short answer is yes but it depends so if you're aiming towards a basket and you were clearly trying to aim towards there then you could potentially pick up your own rebound however it depends on what the referee sees if he sees that it was kind of like an auto pass and that you weren't really trying to make it into the basket at all then he could call a violation and then another question i got is what happens when you throw the basket into your own hoop this again it depends there's a lot of it depends in basketball okay if you do it intentionally so if you were clearly doing because you were pissed off that's a violation and the throw doesn't count as any points however if it was unintentional either because you accidentally hit it into the basket or because you didn't know that was your own hoop then you'd give two points to the opposing team and the player who made the basket is a captain who is currently on court and yeah that finalizes the questions i got about being a ref right now and if you have any other questions leave them down below and i might make other videos about this in the future bye bye